Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to rip jeans and leave the white thread showing. This will be an easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. All that you need is a pair of scissors or a box cutter knife just to make it easier to cut the jeans. And then you need a pair of tweezers just to pull out the specific threads. What you want to do is you want to figure out where you want to create the rip in the jeans. And you want to just cut that area. Um, just create two slits. Now, if you're doing a, a pretty big area you're gonna have to do multiple slits because each slit can only be um, so big right so like if I was doing a bigger area I would do you know multiple slits of this size but because I'm only do like each slit should probably be no bigger than this no thicker than that okay they can be as long as you want but in terms of thickness um, they should only be that big I'm gonna cut this a little bit longer so now once you've cut your area that you want to rip the jeans you want to turn the jeans inside out so you have access to the underside of them as you see right here, <clears throat> it's really cool because the jeans are just made up of two, basically two sets of threads. You have a set of white threads and a set of blue threads. When you bring them together and they're in different directions, you have the jean pattern. Now the white threads basically go side to side for the most part and the blue threads go up and down for the most part. So what we want to do is we want to pull out the blue threads and leave the white threads intact. So we're going to try have to probably pull out one white thread or a couple of them to gain access as you can see. But now that we pulled that out, you can sort of see it looks like a pull in, in, in like a set of stockings or something. When you have a pull in your shirt, that's what it looks like. Now we're trying to gain access to the blue threads. So you want to pull out the first blue thread. It's probably going to be the most difficult. As you can see right there, I pulled it out. And then you're going to continue pulling out try and pull just the blue threads. The straighter that you made your cut in the jeans, the easier that it will be, but you wanna pull out just the blue threads if you can. Okay, you might pull out a couple of white threads, but try and stick to the blue threads. Once you've pulled a few of them out, it gets much easier as you can see because they're not as packed in there. So as you can see right here, I'm just pulling out just blue threads. Uh, occasionally I'll get a white thread, but for the most part, it's just blue threads that we're pulling out. And once you pull them out, you're actually ripping the jeans, but you're leaving the white threads intact, as you can start to see right there. So just give me a moment, let me pull a couple more out and I'll show you what it looks like. So as you can see there, it's starting to really look cool, because once the blue threads are gone, all that remains is the white threads. And it looks like a rip, but in reality, we're just having the threads. You know, there's half of the number of threads in there, and we're leaving the white threads while removing the blue threads. It ends up looking really, really cool. And like I said, the more that you do, the easier that it is to pull out only the blue threads, because they're not nearly as packed. Okay, as you can see right there. Like I said, on occasion, I grab a white thread by accident, but if you really take your time, you can only gra gra grab the blue threads if you want, and it can look amazing. And that's basically it. That's how you create a rip in jeans while leaving the white thread showing. If you look over here on the other side, and if you get a straggler like that, you just, you know, you just pull it out with your hands. But that we've now created a rip in the jeans with the white thread still showing. And you can do this on any area of the jeans. Just like I said, make sure if you're doing a bigger area, the slits that you cut are all like multiple of this size. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.